Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates only a couple of weeks out of Mr. Olympia. The reason why I haven't been posting videos for the past week was because I went to the Arnold Classic Europe, to Madrid. One of my clients was competing in Classic Physique, I went there to help him and to see what this Arnold Classic was all about and I gotta tell you, I was so disappointed. Nobody had a posing routine, imagine that. There were so many judging mistakes, some of them they corrected later, some of them they didn't. The overall organization of the show was very poor and therefore the quality of the competitors that competed over there were also not that great, to be honest. Maybe like one or two competitors were good in a class, but for the most part it was not good. And uh, yeah, a big disappointment, I mean ever since IBB and NPC separated, IBB has been falling apart, getting worse. So yeah, MPC and IFB Pro League are doing so much better and therefore that's why I'm making these videos about the IFB Pro League. So let's talk about the upcoming Mr. Olympia and uh, who's gonna do what. So first we gotta talk about Urs Kalecinski, who has a chance of becoming the new Classic Physique Mr. Olympia champion. So the last time we saw Urs in his full body physique update, he looked much bigger, much fuller. And now we can only see his legs. Now that probably means that he lost some of that fullness upstairs. Or maybe that he's holding it, but he doesn't want to show it yet. Anyways, his legs are looking crazy, super, super round and super shredded. At two and a half weeks out, he looks ready. He looks pretty much ready to compete. Uh, I don't know what his plan is. I don't know how much he weighs right now, but I'm guessing he's going to go lower in weight. Usually this guy needs to go really low uh, compared to his off-season weight. In the off-season he always has pretty much shredded glutes, but when it comes to showtime he needs to die down all the way and he usually loses some of that fullness, some of that size that he has in the off-season. So right now his glutes are peeled, like all the way across the entire muscle, like all the way in, everything is just peeled inside out like you can't really get any more shredded than this it doesn't really get much better but you know Urs usually has like really lean glutes in the off season even and that that's definitely not his problem area it's it usually is you know usually glutes are the last body part that comes in but not for him he's always peeled in that area uh, the other areas might be a little bit more problematic for him but not really he always is shredded the only question right now is how full is he gonna be because he needs to be much fuller in the upper body if he wants to you know win the Mr. Olympia. This was the last full body physique update and here it definitely looked like his upper body was improved. I think his arms looked much fuller, his chest also, his shoulders too, he was just much bigger upstairs while legs looked pretty much the same like before. Now his conditioning is much better, you can see that in the legs, so I'm guessing he lost some of that fullness. But I, I wonder how much, I wonder how much will stay. And what is this? Why am I all of a sudden saying that he can win the Mr. Olympia? Up until recently I was saying that nobody can beat Chris Bumstead. Well, right now it seems like Bumstead is vulnerable. I don't know if you saw his most recent back training video, but in that one his right bicep seems off. It seems weird, you know, as you can see, there is a lot of redness to it. I'm gonna show you a couple of other shots, but yeah, his right bicep seems swollen, it seems reddish. I'll show you a couple of other angles, but it really seems like something went wrong with that bicep of his, and it probably happened at the beginning of his prep, because you guys probably saw that post when he was talking about how difficult this prep was in the beginning. He said this was the most challenging prep that he ever started. That something bad happened to him when he was in Canada. And we didn't know what it was, he didn't really clarify. But I'm guessing at this point, uh, it's, uh, it's a bicep tear. It's gotta be. I mean, look at it right here, you can see the redness, and look at this angle as well. His biceps were never super long and super full, they were like genetically always very short, but right now the right one seems shorter than the left one, shorter than usual. And I'm not saying that he's necessarily going to lose the Mr. Olympia for this, I think he is that good that he can even get away with a bicep tear like Dorian did for so many years. Yeah, this does mean that he's more vulnerable this year, but 
It also means something else. Uh, it means that next year he might not even do the Mr. Olympia. Because you guys know that he was so uncertain of how long he's going to compete for, when he's going to retire. I mean, with all his issues with that autoimmune system disease, with his quad tear, with his left bicep tear, and now with another right bicep tear, it seems like his body is struggling. It seems like his body is at the, at the tail end of his bodybuilding career. It seems like he doesn't want to do this anymore. I know he's pretty young, but he has been doing bodybuilding since he was basically a teenager. He accomplished so much so far, uh, he's so successful, he doesn't really gain much by winning these Mr. Olympia titles, he's so much ahead of the entire, of the entire division, so yeah, I think, I think his career is at the end, like, if this started happening so often, like, so many injuries, it's a very high possibility that he won't compete next year. Is he gonna win this year? Well, if he doesn't have any more injuries... Like, last year he tore that bicep, like, four days, I think, before the show, before the Mr. Olympia. So if something like that doesn't happen again, then he's probably going to win the Mr. Olympia. But is he going to keep competing next year? I don't know. It seems like his career is getting to an end. Here in the caption, he says, here to stay. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel like that. I think it's probably the last year we're going to see... Chris Bumstead on that Mr. Olympia stage, but you never know, you never know. And who is next in line to replace him? Well, it's gotta be Urs or Ramon. Personally, I prefer Urs's physique because it's more classic. If he actually improves that upper body fullness and roundness, then yeah, he has a chance against Ramon, and once Sibam is out, I think Urs is next in line. Now we gotta talk some open bodybuilding, but I think the best way to transition to open bodybuilding is through somebody who is kind of classic and very much open. Uh, Samson Daura with this new physique update in, in the caption that says one of the biggest guys on the Olympia stage but with a man's physique waist. Mass and aesthetics in one and he is absolutely right. Doesn't seem very humble, but he is 100% correct. I mean, this kind of waist size with all this mass, it's insane. And here he's basically doing a man's physique pose and he's kind of wearing like long shorts that reminds us of man's physique shorts. And like I can even imagine this guy in man's physique and he would look so aesthetic. And it's insane that this guy is at around 300 pounds on stage. He is the biggest bodybuilder on that Mr. Olympia stage. Maybe Nick Walker has more muscle pound for pound, but he is not 300 on that stage. No, no, no. Samson Daura is the biggest bodybuilder today, and he has these kind of freaking aesthetics. I mean, just look at the size of this waist. It's ridiculous. It's insane. So that's why I have him winning the Mr. Olympia title. I know it's a bold prediction, but I will stick with it. I believe so. I believe he has a really good chance. Because once again, very, very aesthetic, the biggest guy on that stage, tall bodybuilder. You know, Mr. Olympia is about a big man. And as long as he brings decent conditioning with his crazy fullness and size that he always has with his crazy shape and symmetry and balance, and if he makes those improvements that he always makes from show to show, how, how can anybody stop him? The only guy that I think can stop him is Derek Lansford. Maybe Hardy, maybe Nick Walker, maybe somebody else. We don't know that for sure. But in my opinion, I think it's going to be between Samson and Derek. And why am I choosing Samson? Well, because I like his physique more. I mean, I don't know what the judges are going to go for. We'll see. I can't really predict that. I mean, there is the fact that they usually pick a big guy for a Mr. Olympia winner. Unless the shorter guy is so much superior. But I think Samson is gonna be really freaking impressive on that stage. I think he made the right improvements in his most recent physique updates. It seems like his shoulders and his back are looking better. And just overall, every time we see him on stage, he just looks overall, you know, harder, fuller, rounder. Just he brings more quality every time we see him on stage. And I don't know about Derek. Like, he definitely also improved a lot from 212 to the Open. And now that he had an entire year of the offseason without worrying about staying uh, in the weight cap with uh, actually trying to get as big as possible, you know, he has, he probably has the biggest chances 
uh, on paper, but personally, I, I choose Samson. Now, let's talk about Derek. He decided not to post any physique updates, you know, without clothes. Like, he's not going to reveal what he's doing, what he's working on. Uh, you can see some snippets in tank tops and stuff like that, such as this one. And in this one... <laughs> He looks insane, he looks crazy, and uh, I'm sure that the reason why he's not showing us anything is because he wants to surprise. He wants to show up looking like an absolute freak. And his trouble area, always, was his upper chest and his front delts. From the front, it always looked soft in that area. Is it gonna look soft this year? I don't know, man, because here it doesn't look soft at all. It looks so separated, so grainy, so gnarly. It seems like he made even those improvements. And just overall, he looks so shredded, so hard and so big and full and round that, yeah, it's not easy to, to, to say that anybody else is going to win this Mr. Olympia. But, I mean, I don't know. Maybe we can't see his full physique in all the poses, but we can see, like, once again, some snippets. And here also you can see what his back, for example, is looking like at the conditioning and everything. And just he looks, he keeps on getting fuller and harder and more shredded. Whatever Hunter Rambo is doing, he's doing a hell of a job because these guys just keep improving, especially Derek. Like, from the day one when he started his prep, he just kept getting better and better, even in the off season, like, he always progressed. He never really had a, a moment where he looked bad. I mean, even after the Mr. Olympia, when he was probably off of everything, he still kept making progress. And then when he, when he jumped on something, he started making more progress. He started getting bigger and fuller and rounder, and now he's getting leaner and sharper and harder, and everything is going so well, and there are two and a half weeks left... And at this point, one thing is for sure, this is shaping up to be one of the most competitive, one of the best Mr. Olympias that we watched for a long, long time. I mean, one of the best in the past, I don't know, 20 years, you can say? Like, we have no idea who's gonna win, and we got like five really freaking good guys, like really, really good so it's gonna be really interesting, I'm so excited, this is, this is crazy, this is amazing, I can't wait to watch this show. And, oh, are we gonna have a comeback of Phil Heath? No, no, I'm just joking, we're not gonna entertain that idea, but we do have a physique update of, of Phil Heath, and yeah, he looks good. He looks decent, like, he still has a lot of muscle, a ton of muscle, he's in a really good condition, and look at the waist size, I mean, look at the, the, the stomach, like, he's, he, he's able to pull in, he's doing, like, maybe an attempt of a vacuum, and, uh, I mean, he had a hernia surgery, you can kind of see the scar or whatever it is, but I think his stomach looks better than it looked when he was competing. I think it shrunk a little, because he probably hasn't been pushing food and, and gear, and uh, it, looks, it looks better now, it looks, uh, he looks healthier overall, smaller, but healthier, and, like, does he have enough muscle to be able to make a comeback? Yeah, sure, he does. Will he make a comeback? I really don't think so, and I'm not gonna entertain that idea, but you got a, you got a physique update of Phil Heath, you guys tell me what do you think down below in the caption of this video, if you enjoyed this video guys, please give it a thumbs up, if you wanna support me, there is the link down below, it will lead you to the Old School Labs website, buy whichever supplements you need, but make sure to use the code EVAN for a 15% discount, thank you guys so much, see you soon, all the best guys, and bye bye.